China's central bank cutting key rates for the second time in three months as this new eco data there comes in weaker than expected. Our Eunice Yoon can talk about that in Beijing as well as uh, some of these metrics, Eunice, that they will no longer give us or at least not for now. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about youth unemployment. But before I get to that, uh, what you said, that the central bank move was quite a bit, a bit of a surprise. The uh, central bank had reduced the uh, one-year medium-term lending facility by a bigger-than-normal margin of 15 basis points. In addition to that, the bank uh, cut the seven-day reverse uh, repo rate, and this is a key rate that helps to guide short-term liquidity for banks. Uh, um, at the same time, of course, uh, we got this terrible economic data, very downbeat for July. Uh, the retail sales uh, really stood out. They rose by 2.5 percent, but that compares to the year when a lot of people were under lockdown. So that gives you a sense of how bad the retail numbers were. Factory output missed. FAI, or fixed asset investment, missed. Uh, private investment shrank by 0.5%. Uh, a real estate investment, a huge driver uh, for this economy, also sank down by 8.5%. Urban unemployment worsened. Youth unemployment, as you, uh, uh, Carl, were saying, um, kind of a big question mark here because uh, last month in June, um, it was at 21.3%. Uh, so one in, three, uh, one in five uh, young people uh, weren't finding a job. Uh, the government now says that they are suspending reporting this data as of August, uh, they say that um, they, they need to change the methodology uh, because they said that the current methodology uh, wasn't really reflecting what's happening in the economy. Now, Eunice, if you suspend one group of numbers, which is the teenage, younger people, why not suspend many numbers? I mean, why give out so much information? I, I don't understand where it stops. Well, that's a very good question. And we have had um, economic data suspended uh, by the Chinese authorities in the past. Uh, but uh, with this set of numbers, they actually started in 2018. And then they started. Uh, the reason why they, they um, are calculating it or decided to calculate it this way originally was because they wanted to look at it by uh, the numbers by age group. But now they said that that no longer necessarily applies because it's supposed to cover those 16 to 24. They said that those who are 16 up until their early 20s are oftentimes already in school. So they think that this doesn't really reflect the true nature of what's happening in the labor market. Um, Eunice, we were, we were talking at the desk uh, earlier. You know, the property sector is so important there. You mentioned the reduction in interest rates, but there doesn't yet appear to be a willingness on the part of the government to really step in particularly for non-SOE owned property developers. Yep. Where do things stand there? What are the expectations and or why would the government choose not to act when this is such a linchpin to the overall economy? Yeah, there's, that's a, a big question that people are asking here as well uh, because uh, there is a feeling that with, the, the, say, for example, the property investment number looked terrible, home sales are bad, new housing starts also uh, really seen as uh, very, voting very poorly for the real estate market. So a lot of questions about why the authorities are not coming in. Uh, the, it's, the, the problem seems to be, um, as we could only guess, um, that uh, they're worried about, they've been signaling about their concerns about the debt. Uh, they're worried about this uh, potentially uh, becoming a bigger issue. Um, also, in terms of giving out money, um, there also th there's been a lot of reporting by some of the local authorities, especially auditors, saying that uh, that vouchers in the past and certain subsidies haven't gone to the right places. That there's been quite a bit of corruption um, involved in that. So there, because of that, uh, we haven't actually seen the authorities here, especially at the top, willing to take on um, this issue in the way that a lot of economists think uh, needs to be done.